Hey guys, today's video is going to be just a little tutorial on how to set your amplifier gains with a basic multimeter. So if you've got something like this multimeter, uh, you'll be able to do it. Basically if you can read AC volts with your multimeter, you can um, use this tutorial to um, set your gains close to correct. You know, um, yeah, so anyway, you're going to want to either go onto this website here, which I'll put the link in the description anyway, and um, or you can get an iPhone app or iPod app called Ohm's Law. It does the same thing as this website. So basically, you've got volts, amperage, resistance, and wattage. So what you're going to want to do is put in your desired wattage. Well, for starters, my amplifier does 1200 watts RMS at 1 ohm, so I'm going to put in 1200 watts. And um, the resistance is obviously 1 ohm, so you put 1 ohm in there. Then you click Calculate. And yeah, it gives you the final voltage. Now this would this voltage right here is the voltage you're going to look for on your multimeter later. So um, yeah, write that number down, and uh, obviously yours will probably be different to mine. But yeah, write that number down, and um, we'll continue on to the next bit. Okay, now we're just going to generate a tone to use. Um, in the setting of the amplifier. So you want to get a program such as this called Audacity. Basically any program that you can generate a sine wave from. So you're going to go, if you've got Audacity, you're going to want to go into Generate and then Tone. And um, you're going to leave it as sine, but you want to change it to, I use 60 hertz, but um, you can probably use 50 if you want. Let's use 60 for mine because it's kind of in the middle of the base region. So we change amplitude to 1 and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and change the length to a minute. So um, I don't have to repeat the song as much. So yeah. Okay, once that's generated you're just going to want to save it as an mp3 and Either you're going to want to burn it to a disc or put it on your iPod or whatever source you usually use through your head unit. Okay, here's the last part. So, the last part, what you're going to want to do is firstly unplug your speaker cables from the amplifier. Otherwise, you're probably just going to make an awful noise from your speakers, which you don't want. So, um, yeah, probably also, if you've got two amplifiers like me, disconnect the other amplifier, the one that you're not tuning. And, um, yeah, just for the same reason, you know, you don't want to put uh, the constant sine wave through your speakers because you'll probably blow them up. So, what you're going to want to do is take your multimeter. I'm not actually going to do it because my amplifier is already set up, but you want to put it into the speaker terminals, like that. Obviously they'll be properly in there. You want to get your voltmeter and set it to AC volts 200, or whatever you've got closest on your amplifier. And you turn it on, and then um, what you're going to do is play that tone we created earlier. You want to play it on repeat, and um, then what you're going to do is slowly turn your amplifier up, until the multimeter reads the voltage that we found earlier. Now once it's set at that voltage, that should be fine. You should be putting out the amount of wattage that you wanted to start with, and um, hopefully you're clip free. If um, you want to be careful, probably just set it a little bit below it, just to make sure you're not clipping. Like this amplifier does um, 1200 RMS, but I've only got it set to put out 11. 100 RMS, which has uh, worked out to be 33 volts. So my amplifier is set 33 volts, just so that I know it's not going to clip. 
plus these subs are only 500 RMS each anyway. So yeah, that's basically what you're going to want to do there. And also, with your head unit, make sure that you don't have your head unit all the way up. Never turn it all the way up. With mine, mine goes up to 62, and I only, uh, I've tuned my amplifiers for 40. That way I know that my head unit is not going to be giving my amplifiers a clipped signal. So, that's what you're going to want to do. Never have the head unit all the way up. That's stupid. Most head units clip at anything as low as three-quarter volume. So, I just wanted to be careful with that. So, yeah. Tips for this. Um, unplug your speaker first. Unplug any other amps that you're not tuning at the time. And never tune it for maximum head unit volume because you're going to be clipping and distorting your speakers. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial and um, leave comments etc below and I'll try and help you guys out if you've got any questions. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.